The nutrition education program that I organized this summer at the WNL Campus Garden is really important because the obesity rate nationally, not to mention locally, is among children especially, is high and is on the rise. And so introducing these children to healthy nutrition and healthy eating habits is especially important when they're still young. Each group of campers comes out once a week for an hour. We have a brief 30 minute nutrition education lesson. Have you found mail thing? Yes, right here. It's easy, easy. And then they volunteer in the garden for half an hour working on whatever needs to be done, be it picking cherry tomatoes or weeding or watering. A program like this provides the ideas to people to, to get gardening. Uh, I like I like having fun and trying new foods yeah. all the time. There's better vegetables here. When a child's given that choice to have a fresh fruit or vegetable, they're going to make other choices, um, hopefully, um, at home. And instead of having a Jolly Rancher for a sweet treat, they'll go for a piece of watermelon. The children are really excited about some of the vegetables, and sometimes they'll have something that they don't think they want to try or they've never tried before and I ask them to at least take a bite or two and a lot of times the children actually really like it and just have never been exposed to it. How many of you like the squash? That's all of us. Uh, that is impressive. That's impressive guys. Where do you all normally buy food? Grocery store. Grocery store? Supermarket food has a lot of miles on it in most cases. Do you normally get your produce from the grocery store, all your vegetables and stuff? Yes, I got a pear. Cool. Where do you think those pears come from? Those miles mean that they're picked a little less ripe. They get transported and then ripen on the way. They're not as high quality when it comes to nutritional quality. The food that's grown in the garden is picked at the peak of ripeness, so it tastes great, but it's also nutritionally better for you. It's kind of cool knowing where your food comes from. You all picked tomatoes last week, right? Yeah. And you got to eat the tomatoes you picked, and you know exactly where they came from. If a tomato doesn't have the opportunity to ripen on the vine, it's not being subjected to those things that the sun is doing to it that get, make the beneficial antioxidants. So you get a, a much higher quality product, and we've, we've found that in several studies now. What's been your favorite thing about gardening this summer? Pick a tomato! Pick a tomato! Pick a tomato! This kind of program is important because it introduces the students to gardening and where our food comes from, which is something that students don't necessarily get in school. Look at this one. Look how big that's going to be. I'm going to 